Hello everyone, this is MJ and you are at my channel called Reading This Life. My channel is where we talk fiction, friends, and fun. Today, let's have a chat about the price of books. And remember, before we get started, it would make me so happy. Okay, so um, in novella, uh, tagged me in a video that she put up over the weekend. I will link it down below. Talking about this issue, about the cost of books, um, what the publishing industry is uh, doing, the retail industry, etc., etc. And Steve Donahue had a live last night and he was asking about um, book shopping habits and where we mostly buy books. So I wanted to contribute my thoughts on um, the topic because I have been doing a lot of book buying lately. <laughs> That's no joke. Um, after coming off the Read What You Own challenge. And I have patterns. I have ways, I have methodologies as to um, what I will spend on a book, um, where I will spend full price, where I will support um, indie bookstores, et cetera, et cetera. So let's have a conversation, okay? Um, first, I would like to know from all of you, where do you primarily purchase your books from? Comment down below and let me know. So in my area, we have one Barnes & Noble store, and that's it. Um, I also have my local library bookstore that I showed in a prior video, which is like awesome, but you really have to, you have to dig a little and you kind of have to have an idea as to what you're going for. Um, and, um, another library has one big sale every single year that I usually stock up on. Um, that's coming up this weekend. So I'm going to have to put the brakes on my book buying that. Uh, as well as eBay. And I also discovered the service Whatnot, which is amazing for books. Um, and I blame uh, Juan over at Plague by Visions for that because I supported his um, auction. But that is a fantastic place to pick up books as well. In a prior video, I talked about my project to um, start collecting and reading paperbacks from hell. This is a great example as to what is going on um, with the price of books. So I don't have any that have been reprinted. Um, I will tell you that I paid $5.97 for this book. $5.97. The going price of this paperback from from 1977, let me grab my laptop and I'll tell you. Okay, so because of the popularity of paperbacks from hell, um, you may notice that sellers are cashing in. And on a good copy right now, I'm looking at a price of flat $15. And this is for a 1978 first printing from Ballantine Books. Okay, so this is this is Ballantine 1978 as well. The exact same thing. $15 they're asking. Let's check another site. One of them with a different cover is $4.99. Another is $9.95. Another is $16.99. So we're we're okay. I mean, $15 is still a lot in my opinion. So if we go over to Amazon and we type in paperbacks from home, what is happening is they are reprinting the books. So I don't know if you can see that or not, but um, we have 1899, 1799, 1699, 1999. Those are four reprinting, um, is it Vandercourt? Valencourt, Valencourt books. So back in, 2020 they well this particular one um they started reprinting them and then on the top corner they have paperbacks from hell okay uh so it's like you know that it is included in the catalog my problem is that it's a paperback it's a paperback and you want me to pay 
$19.99 for a paperback? That's not even a vintage paperback or an original paperback? I got issues with that. Why does it have to be such a high price? Why do all of the different books have different prices? Is it based on the covers? Is it based on supply and demand? Like, I would just like to know. So some of them, like Stage Fright, it's $19.99. There's four left in stock. Now, this is on Amazon. When Darkness Loves Us, there's 19 left and it's $17.99. I, I just don't understand the price discrepancy and I don't understand the justification for that particular amount. A reprinting of a vintage book, brand new, okay? I would be comfortable with paying $9.99, $10, $11, but I think if you ask more than that, I'm gonna say, are you just cashing in? I know people have to make money. I know that publishing industry has to make money. But it just seems like price gouged. It just seems inflated. And I don't think it's right. I don't I don't think it's right for people if this book wants to bring readers to the table. Why are we making it so inaccessible for them? To purchase the books. These books are not available at libraries to Libby or Cloud Library or anything like that. I can't get Hellhound or Baxter. Like it's just not possible. So is it supply and demand? Is it because, you know, people want to read these books? Why should we prevent people from reading? That's what I want to know. Okay. If these, if this collection of books bring some college kid to the table and they're all into it and they want to read them. Why are we preventing them from doing so because of the cost? I'm just asking. This is all rhetorical. I'm just asking. It pisses me off a little bit. So let me just look up like one more. I don't think I got any more, did I? Okay, here's The Spirit. This was reviewed a couple days ago. Ollie did a review of it. $17.99, okay? It's got the little paperback from hell, the little stamp there. Now, if I go on eBay, I just got an offer from someone that's selling me the original vintage book for $7.99. Why wouldn't I want that one? I'm saving $10 and I'm actually getting an original cover that doesn't have the little reprint thing. And it's also not, and it's also not $17.99 for a paperback. For a paperback. Now, I will pay, book of the month, I will pay $15.99 to get whatever hardback I want, if I want to, and I can skip if I want to. I'm comfortable with paying $15.99 for a hardback. I am comfortable with paying $17.99 for a signed copy of a book supporting an independent bookstore. I'm okay with that, okay? I don't do this often, but I was out of town today and um, this is a book that caught my eye. I heard about it on BookTube and I'm like, ooh, it's signed. Maybe I'll get it and I'll support the, the, the bookstore as well. It just blows my mind. It blows my mind. Now, I have a membership at Barnes and Noble. I've had it since Barnes and Noble opened. I know they have some upgraded membership. I don't think I have it. I think I still have the basic. I don't think they upgraded me. But what does that upgraded membership give you exactly? I will visit a brick and mortar bookstore like Barnes and Noble, big box bookstore, twice a year, maybe. Maybe twice a year. Now, I picked up Monstrilio by Gerardo Samano Gordova. I bought that at full price or 10% off or whatever it was because I don't shop there often. It's a book that I wanted. They had it and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm showing them love. I'm giving them my hard earned money, but literally I will not buy, um, new releases there. I will, search high and low. I will do library copies. I will do eBooks. I will do whatever 
Um, I will not buy a lot from Barnes and Noble. If I buy two books a year there, that's, that's a lot. Um, and that was like $25.99, maybe 26. And I mean, I don't have it here, but it's, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a hardcover. It's about 265 pages or so. Um, you know, but it, 20, 28 dollars for a hardback. That's not even on like the best sellers. I don't know. I don't know. Comment down below and let me know your thoughts. I'm curious to find out. Um, but the paperback from hell issue really, um, gets under my skin a little bit. I am the type of person that loves to get a good deal, loves to get a good deal. This was a good deal at $5.97. And I think I got it on like thrift books or something like that. There's another book that I got during the week. And I don't know what I did with it. This book, Night Waves by David Irons. I checked to see how much I paid for it. This came out in, hold on. Oh my God. I just realized. <laughs> you guys are gonna die. It's signed. I didn't know this was signed. It never said in the description it was signed. <gasps> oh my God. Oh, <laughs> it says keep away from the beach. I paid. Hold on. Hold the F on. This was published in 2019 from Cosmic Egg Books. I paid $2.97 on eBay for this. $2.97. That's what I paid. I paid some dude in California won the auction he kept posting it posting it posting it i finally said all right i'm gonna get it i love the, the cover i'll tell you the whole story about this book right here two dollars and 97 cents if i pop that in amazon the paperback is twelve dollars and 70 cents the kindle book is two dollars and 49 cents thirteen dollars and it's not even signed i didn't even know it was signed when i bought it that makes it all the more special now david irons i I'm going to be like your number one fan. I'm telling you. Flat out. Flat out. I'm going to be like your number one fan. So I love getting books. I love hunting for books. I love scouring. Nothing thrills me more than some person that is not into books, uploads a book, and doesn't realize what it could be worth, um, what the book means to the book community, and they list it really low. There's nothing better than that. There's nothing better than that. And then winning it. That's the best part. Or even on thrift books, world of books. Let's get back to paperbacks of hell. What is it? The Fog? The Fog by James Herbert. The paperback, the modern paperback is 1685. The 1986 paperback is $19.04. And that's on Amazon and that's like pre-loved. Let's check eBay. World of Books is selling it on eBay for $5.92. And that's the, um, that's the 1989 cover with, um, the woman's head. $5.82 from World of Books. Most of the paperbacks from hell are between the Valancourt Press ones. They're like between $13 and $20. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. I would rather hunt and find a good vintage copy than pay that. It just seems outrageous a little bit. Um, there's also, don't forget, there's also outrageous sellers um, that know what these books are, are worth, knows about the supply and demand. Those I shun away from. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna buy into that. Now, if it was an auction for charity, if it was an auction to benefit from uh, someone, totally, like I will absolutely help out because I know my money is going to a good cause um, to help someone in need, whatever. But um, yeah, it's just, it just doesn't seem 
I don't know. There's something, there's something not right. If we want to make books accessible to people, yes, thank God for libraries. Thank God for libraries. But for someone to start a collection, for someone that wants to start a home library, for someone that wants to purchase a book, why does it have to be $25? Why does it have to be $25 for a hard copy? $30 for a hard copy, brand new. Why does it have to be so expensive? I don't know. Just putting it out there. I am all for secondhand. I am all for pre-loved. I am all for um, deals. I'm all for um, subscription boxes that could, you know, cut the cost a little bit because for one price, you're getting probably two books and you're getting some swag with it too. At least that's a little bit extra. Just paperbacks itself. I don't know. It just seems, it seems a little outrageous to me. So comment down below and let me know your thoughts on the subject. I'd be curious to find out. So yeah, paperbacks from hell. Sorry, Valancourt. I'm going to try not, unless I find a secondhand copy of a Valancourt press reprinting, then I'll go in on it. But I'm not going to buy brand new out of principle, I think. All right. All right, everyone. That's all I have. Um, keep hunting for good books. I can't believe this. I'm so excited. I'm like really excited about this now. I gotta see, I don't know what this means though. Okay, so it says here, keep away from the beach. And then it says, there's like a name. I don't know what the name is. I don't know, but they signed, they put the name under the author, but it's not the, I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out. But this is the author, for sure. <laughs> I love surprises like that. All right, everybody. It's been a day. Okay. Keep reading good stuff. Let me know. Do you like to score cheap books on eBay? Do you like to start a collection? Are you into paperbacks from hell? Let me know your thoughts on the subject because the last thing that I want to see is people get ripped off. You know, everybody, I know everybody needs to make a buck. Everybody needs to support themselves, but does it have to be? $17.99 for a paperback. It just seems expensive. Okay. All right. I hope you're all doing well. Make sure you're taking care of yourself so you can take care of others. And I will see you in my next video, which will be sooner rather than later. So until next time, everyone, goodbye for now. Happy shopping.